And although no one has been spared in the Northeast community, that's really been uh, battered by today's brutal winds out there. Yeah, he's been talking about how Northeast Harbor Creek, uh, you know, places like that in Erie County have uh, really had its fair share of damage. So a falling tree and pole actually shot down Sanders Market right in the middle of Northeast today. Our Lisa Adams was covering the Northeast damage and Lisa, there was one stretch of Route 5 where they just couldn't stay ahead of all those falling trees. Now that's for sure. It was a situation where PennDOT workers trying to clear trees from Route 5 were in danger of being hit by other falling trees. State police kept us back a ways, but you'll see in our video, we actually saw one of those trees fall and not far away. Thankfully, as you said, no one was hurt when a tree pole and transformer crashed into an open Sanders market. When not one, but many tall ash trees blew down across Route 5, one right in front of our Erie News Now camera, state police had to shut it down from Freeport to Orchard Beach. Actually, as one of the PennDOT workers just got finished cutting up one of the trees, one fell right on top of the tree, he just got done cutting up. So we just made the decision for safety. We have to close this down. People are going to run into those trees if they keep driving this road. In Northeast Borough, a neighbor's tall pine tree crashed down onto Sanders Market, pulling down a pole, wires, and transformer. Some 30 to 40 employees and shoppers were inside. Just heard a big crash and uh, all the lights went out and we came to the back uh, service area where the vendors come in and uh, one of the neighbors big pine trees came down unfortunately across one of our bread guys trucks and also put a hole in the roof which you can see all the water coming in right now. The employees called it in obviously with the conditions today we're seeing a lot of trees down um, there is damage to the structure obviously the power is out uh, there were employees and customers inside the store when it happened happy to report there are no injuries everybody made it out safe. A Penelec bucket truck arrived on scene to start the repair process. Here inside a storage area at Sanders Market, it is literally raining inside. When the tree and the transformer came down, it poked holes in the roof, impacted the entire electrical system for the store. These repairs are going to take a long time. At this point, everything's fixable, and uh, it looks like it's going to be a while, but uh, I'm just thankful that everybody was out of harm's way. And that is for sure. Sanders Market was hoping to get a generator in on a flatbed truck so that they could keep their freezers and their coolers going to minimize any loss of food in the store. They think, though, it's going to be a couple of days before they can reopen. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.